What's going on everybody? I just wanted to show you guys something new that's been added to GameMaker Studio 2 in one of the recent updates. It's called Code Snippets. So let me kind of demonstrate and show you guys how this works. So basically in any code window, you can just right click anywhere, go down to Code Snippets, and then you can see there's a bunch of codes that you can just click and add into your game. You have your if statements, for loops, comments, regions, all this stuff. So you can basically just click so let's click like a if statement and it just adds it into the game. You can fill out the condition and start coding away. Now when I first saw this I thought ah, that's cool but I'll probably never use it because that's kind of inconvenient. It's easier for me to just type this out. But where it gets kind of cool is uh, you can actually use hotkeys. So you can open up code snippets and then just you know you see here there's these numbers and then down here there's letters associated with each code you can just click that number or letter on your keyboard so to add a for loop that's the number four we can just click four on our keyboard and it's all set up there's another for loop here where it kind of fills some things out for you and that's number five so you have your variable i equals zero and you can just fill out the condition so it's pretty cool. I'm sure I'm going to use it. Um, it's like one of those things in game makers that you got to remind yourself that's there, and then once you <laughs> kind of program it in your muscle memory, you'll probably use it a lot. Uh, I liked it. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, it can add like a multi comment. You just click M. So uh, yeah, you can write in here. So now where it gets actually cool is you can add your own code snippets. And I'm going to show you how to do that, but I've left a link in the description where Yo-Yo Games actually put a blog post about this, and you can read all about it, and um, so that's there in the description of this video. But let's go ahead and add our own code snippet. Now, you got to make sure that GameMaker is closed, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. And then you want to navigate to this directory on your computer. It's uh, this PC, C, uh, program data. Now this folder might be hidden on your computer so make sure you have uh, you can view hidden folders and files. GameMaker Studio 2 and then user. Now when you go to this folder <clears throat> there's not going to be anything in here so you're going to have to create a text document. So we're going to go ahead and create a text document and it needs to be called code uh, snippets. Let me make sure I actually no no, no I'm sorry snippets. <laughs> Let me make sure that's right. Go to this guide here yeah, snippets. So make a text document called snippets snippets.txt. Go ahead and uh, open it up here. And on this guide, it shows you how to create the instance create. That that's what we're gonna do. So let me go ahead and show you how how it's done here. Uh, first, you need to add the the hotkey that you want this snippet to be associated to. So for instance create, we're just gonna add the letter I. And then you need to put a dash. So do it just like I'm doing with the spaces and everything. And then we're going to write the name of this code, which is just instance create. Then we're going to put a, com uh, a colon. And then we're going to write the code. So instance create depth x, y, depth, and then object. And we'll end that in a semicolon and then you put a dollar sign to add a new line. Now when you want to add a another um, snippet you just go to the next line and you do the whole thing over and um, that's basically that's basically all there is to it so we're gonna go ahead and save this and oh, you gotta make sure there's no extra line so you see I had like a line there so I'm gonna go ahead and erase that so go ahead and save. You can add an extra line as long as there's text on it <laughs> So that's it. Now we're going to go ahead and reopen Game Maker. Give it a moment on my super computer. Go ahead and open this project I was working out of. And we have our script back, and we're going to right click, code snippets, and all the way on the bottom is our code, instance create, which we've associated with the hotkey I. So I can just click I and there it is. So that's kind of useful. I can see myself, you know, not wanting to type all that out, just doing that real quick. And uh, I, I like it. It's pretty cool. And uh, I hope that you guys uh, find some kind of use out of this. I'm sure you will. 
So that will do it for this video. Uh, just a quick update uh, on a project that I've been working on. It's a life simulation game. And uh, if you guys would like some videos about this and maybe a dev blog, uh, I can do that. I know I haven't been on YouTube for a while, but uh, here it is. It's a life simulation game, new game. I have a whole character creation thing going on. Have a character generator, go random, start game. Uh, right now I'm working on the the health stuff of my bot uh, or of, of the player's body and uh, it's pretty cool it's coming along really good so each body part you know has has you know tells you how you're feeling basically uh, can add a headache <laughs> so far and uh, you can see his head goes red and says I have a headache so this is just something that I've been working on it's a life simulation survival game if you'd like more videos about this just leave a comment and I would gladly do that all right see you guys